those crap, all those crits you did. You yeah. bought the crits in summer, mate. I saw all those. I was following yeah. those Instagram <laughs> posts with, um, <laughs> you know, you and even Crampo was getting involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so good. <laughs> that was honestly so good. Like, we'd been itching for it, like, all season. Yeah. Because obviously they go on, like, in summer every Tuesday night. We always go out and watch and stuff. And we're always yeah. like, yeah, like, let's do it. Let's do it. Anyway, so we all finished. Like, I came back from the games. Uh, Tom had a couple more weeks left to finish his prep. And then as soon as it finished, we were driving around in the camper van, like, going to all these crits and stuff. <laughs> I, uh, I, was, I was a mess, though. Like, I was coming down every now and then. Like, oh, I was no. losing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I think I crashed twice. Um, Shit anyway that's just like bite because <laughs> i'm not used to turning right so <laughs> every <laughs> and they were all right handers um but yeah it was good so we were just chopping about on b grade um the photos are just having funny. some having fun yeah yeah that was good um everyone is listening yeah. you go back and look at um is it tom cornish uh yours um and oh yeah the U2's Instagram was fantastic. Some of the photos, you just see you guys and then Crampo's there, these units on the front, <laughs> final kick, like <laughs> these little skinny enduros. <laughs> that was, oh, that was such an annoying race too. I was like pretty good. Like Tom was, Tom was pretty much leading it out. Yeah. And I was like, all right, yeah, cool. Got his will. Crampo comes up to the inside on the last corner, clips his pedal, almost like blows me out of the pack. <laughs> and I'm just like, what are we down. doing yeah, imagine if he took me down. That would have been, oh, oh, it would be crazy. Please. Yeah, yeah. Back to Perth. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Literally, literally. Anyway, That's so cool. yeah, it was it was fun though. Like it got to the point where we were doing like two crits a week, like wow. one on a Tuesday and then the Super Series on on mm. on uh, Saturday or Sunday, mm. and it was just a really. It, I'd never done anything like it before. Like we're going Monday morning, we're lifting like two hundred kilos plus in the squat. Tuesday night we're racing a crit. Wednesday morning, we're back doing Olympic lifting again. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Friday, we'd do a track session or whatever. And Saturday, we're driving around trying, trying to do the Super Series crits. Like, it was just a super fun time. Like, yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, a, a few people finish, like, a big competition and want to have a break and time off and all that sort of stuff. And I guess, like, if that works for you, that's good. For me, it's, like, let's have fun racing my bike in, in something different. You yeah, I'm mean? sure that would have felt different. like a break as well, just yeah, racing the crits. Absolutely. Completely, it's completely different. Yeah. What, what, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I wanted to know what kind of, uh, on the road bike, don't worry about the track stuff, but like what kind of power are you putting out in the sprint for the um, oh, the road bike? Oh, I don't know. No, no power idea. meter. I haven't got a power meter. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what is it's my like training it? bike. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty screwed at the end of a crit, but. I guess like North it's still got to be close. Or so, surely. Oh it's yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it'd be close to two k still. Wow. It'd be close to two k because when we sprint, like obviously we race the crit. I mean, Tom races a bit different. He's got a lot more endurance than I do, so he's happy to sit on the front every now and then and chase back breaks. I'm just hiding yeah. in the field, like I was doing absolutely nothing, and um, so I come into the final sprint pretty fresh, <laughs> and I think you got a good like. I mean, the uh, like. Our bikes are pretty flexy. Like it doesn't yeah. feel super amazing to be on them. Um, but it, it'd be close. It'd be easily north of 1700. Wow. Like if you're not faster in a straight line than the guy next to you, guy or girl, what are some of the things you can do? I mean, I guess the first point is you still have to ride to your strengths. You know, like what, what are you good at? So for me, my probably, my greatest strength is probably acceleration. Mm. So... For me, maybe if they're, they've got way more legs than me for whatever reason, um, maybe on the back, I just don't really do a whole lot, leave them too slow and just try and use my acceleration to win the race, basically, like leave it almost too late. Leave it late. To gain enough speed. Okay. Um, you can also try and keep the race slow because obviously if they're fast, then you, you really want to try and keep the speed out of it. Yeah. You know, because that's going to be the component that, will lose you the race in that circumstance. So if you're on the front, you can try and get in their personal space, try and jam them up a bit. Again, like try to just do whatever you can to really take the speed out of the race, but not get caught out. You don't want to leave yourself vulnerable to say them coming underneath or blasting over the top. 
that kind of thing. But again, it really depends on the opponent. Like a lot of us at the top of the field, we all have good accelerations. You know I mean? We wouldn't be there if we didn't. So yeah, it's really like you kind of have to force them into making a mistake. Yeah. You know what I mean? You kind of have to force them into making a mistake basically. But generally if you're within two tenths of them, that you can beat them no matter what. Right. Like it's, it's doable outside of two tenths and it starts to get a bit like the speed difference is a couple K an error at that point. So it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not a whole lot you can do unless they really mess something up. Mm. If you're not on the track, Maddie, and you're not in the gym, where are you and what are you doing? I spend a lot of my time in my garage, uh, building bits and pieces, lots of things. Um, I built a camper van recently. Um, yeah. So that was sick. That's like my biggest project so far. That's on YouTube, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my builds page, MGR Builds. Yeah. You got it all tagged in the in the in the thing. <laughs> you can see everyone has to go and check it out because you fitted out a full camper and it's elite. It's it's really cool. How long did it take you to do? Six months. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty and that was good. on and off. On, on and off with obviously training and um i have a few motorbikes that i build as well wow. um yeah lots of pieces like furniture i can yeah literally anything like furniture and camp, like the camp van was good because it was kind of a lot of things in one yeah you know that was like woodworking yeah. carpentry uh, like yeah like all, the whole electrical system plus like a bit of mechanical work on the car Oh, like pl- plumbed it in, like upholstery too. Like I posted the the seat covers and all I that saw. sort of stuff. Like it was really almost clean. like all all the kind of tricks of the trade, all in one sort of mini project. Um, yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. It was good. But yeah, so if I'm not on the bike, I'm pretty much in the in the garage most of the time, um, building yeah. bits and bobs. I'm into a bit of photography and a bit of filmmaking as well, which kind of goes hand in hand with that sort of stuff. Yeah. Just kind of capturing the the builds and creating a bit of content for that. And did you take the photos um, of, the, of those pieces that you put on your Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. nice, man. It looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Cheers. It's, yeah, so it's yeah. good to have those things outside of um, your job, right? Like, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Just life balance, I guess. And obviously, it it definitely is that. Like, it's not just oh yeah, I love reading books, which is super relaxing and good for recovery. Like, I'm I'm in the garage on my feet under cars in camper vans in in cupboards that i'm making like all sorts right so when people say ah oh, it's life balance it really is a bit of a, a bit of a juggling out sometimes but it's good to just switch off you know and like the motorbikes i really enjoy too because you kind of tear this bike apart cut the frame into little bits and pieces weld up frame and do all sorts to it and then you finish it and you get out on it and it's just like you just look down and you're just like, like I'll put this thing together with my yeah. two hands, you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, just yeah. such an awesome feeling. And you're also just like just being on a motorbike feels amazing too. So it's just like, yeah, it's really good for the head, really good for like that life balance, like I said. And yeah. it's what I enjoy doing. So I'm glad that I've got the the space and the time available to do it. If I was an endurance rider, it'd probably be a different situation, like those guys. <laughs> Yeah. absolutely love doing a million hours on the bike so yeah. <laughs> for me it's uh we say more is uh less is more is yeah. what we say in the mm-hmm. in the sprint world so love it. i have quite a few rest days a week so plenty of time to uh get my hands dirty in the in the garage <laughs>